everyone. Welcome to Brain Blitz Audience. Today we will begin a new journey in which we will discuss solutions for, for previous year questions of NSTSE. Today we will review the questions asked in NSTSE 2009 held for grade 6. Let's begin, shall we? Question number 1. In a party room, 20 workers will decorate 70 tables. Each table will be decorated with 10 silver balloons and 15 gold balloons. Which equation could be used to find X? The total number of silver and gold balloons needed to decorate all the tables. Option A. X is equal to 70 times bracket 10 plus 15. B. X is equal to 15 times bracket 70 plus 10. C. X is equal to 70 plus bracket 10 times 15. D. X is equal to 20 times bracket 70 plus 10 plus 15. So, in order to find X, the total number of silver and gold balloons needed to decorate all the tables, first we need to find the total number of silver balloons and gold balloons in one table. So, Silver balloons in each table is equal to 10 and gold balloons in each table is equal to 15. So total number of balloons in each table will be equal to the number of silver balloons plus the number of gold balloons which is equal to 10 plus 15 next so to find uh, the uh, total number of silver and gold balloons needed to decorate all the tables, the first step is done to find the total number of silver and gold balloons in each table. Then we have to find the number of tables. So as given, as of the given information, number of tables is equal to 70. So, total number of balloons in all tables is equal to 70 times 10 plus 15. Now, the total number of balloons in all tables is the same statement as the total number of silver and gold balloons needed to decorate all the tables. So, x is equal to 70 times 10 plus 15 which is option A. Next question. A 6th grade class completed the survey about favorite drinks. Of the students in the class, 2 by 6 chose cock and 3 by 8 chose sprite. What fraction of the class chose either Coke or Sprite as their favorite drinks? Option A, 1 by 24. Option B, 6 by 48. Option C, 5 by 14. And option D, 17 by 24. So, to find the answer to our question, Let's take out the information given in the question. So, fraction 
So suppose the total number of students in the class is equal to x. So fraction of students that chose cock is equal to 2 by 6 x and the fraction of students who chose Sprite as their favorite drink is equal to 3 3 by 8 x. Now to find the number of fraction of the students who chose both coke either coke or sprite we had to find the sum of 2 by 6 x and 3 by 8 x which will be equal to 2 by 6 plus 3 by 8 x now we had to make these fractions like fractions so the LCM of 6 and 8 is 24 so 6 times 4 is 24 so 2 times 4 and 6 times 4 we get 8 by 24 and then 8 times 3 is equal to 24 so 3 times 3 and 8 times 3 we get 9 by 24 which is equal so we have to add 8 by 24 plus 9 by 24x which is equal to 17 by 24x next to find the number of students who chose either coke or sprite will be equal to 17 by 24 x divided by the total number of students which is x so 17 by 24 x the whole divided by x x and x cancel itself so we get 17 by 24 which is option d next question Mr. Srinivas works on the 36th floor of an office complex. He goes down 33 floors to post a letter and then goes up 42 floors to a restaurant to take his lunch. On which floor is the restaurant? Option A, 27. Option B, 39. Option C, 45. Option D, 72. First, let's un understand the words so if someone goes down a building they are subtracting the number of floors so when he goes down 33 floors he's subtracting 33 floors from 36 so floor the floor that he went to post the letter is equal equal to the 36th floor minus 33 more floors which is equal to 3 floor and then after he reaches the third floor he then goes up 42 floors which means the addition of floors so the floor were the restaurant is is equal to 3 plus 42 which is equal to 45 and which is option C 
So option C, 45 is the correct answer. Next question. How many squares are there in the following figure? A, 16, B, 17, C, 25, and D, 30. Now, how many squares does not just mean the, num uh, the number of squares formed by one sm small square unit. It can also be the square, this square, and also this square. So, the one method to find this is if we have to find it in an n by n square grid then we have to do 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square until n square so in this is a 4 by 4 square grid so we we'll, we have to add 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square to get the answer which is equal to 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 which is equal to 30 so the number of squares in the figure in the following figure is 30 which is option D let's move on to the last question of the day Anshu wants to find the distance her unicycle moves on the sidewalk when the tire makes one 360 degree rotation which of the following best describes the distance in one 360 degree rotation option a the area of the tire option b the radius of the tire option c the diameter of the tire and option d the circumference of the tire so to understand this let's look at the uh, tire or wheel of the unicycle now a 360 degree rotations the rotation means starting from one point and traveling all the way in a circle and the end point will meet the start point now the a it doesn't cover the entire s space the circle makes up and only the border of the circle so it cannot be the area of the tire now the radius is the distance between the center point and one of the points in the outer side of the tire but that does not cover up the 360 rotation of the tire so the radius of the tire is also incorrect now the diameter of, of the tire is the two times the radius which means placing one radius and connecting each other in a way that both radiuses form a straight line this whole length is called the diameter of the tire so but but this does not cover the the border of the tire only the length formed in one straight line so that is also incorrect now the correct answer is the circumference of the tire because circumference circumference is equal to perime the perimeter of the circle which is a tire which represents a circle so a three which is also the distance covered by 360 rotation in a tire as you can see it follows along the border of the tire which is the which is the perimeter which is the circumference of the tire so the correct answer is 
the circumference of the tire. And that's all folks. We hope you found this set interesting. For more useful videos, please subscribe to our channel, Brain Blitz Audios. Until the next episode, bye-bye for now.